creating a personal brand. Okay, so now we're going to talk a bit more about the interesting stuff. The differentiating factors that will help you to become a top blogger rather than just a blogger. One of the options available to you here then is to create a personal brand. This basically means that you're going to put yourself at the forefront of your branding and messaging. And you're going to become a living advocate and example of the lifestyle you're living. This isn't 100% necessary to run a top blog. But if you think about the biggest blogs on the web that aren't owned by massive companies, then you'll realize that the personality of the owner is often front and center. I am Alpha M, Strength Camp, Smart Passive Income, The 4-Hour Workweek, Matthew Woodward, Brain Pickings, The Art of Manliness, Nerd Fitness, Mark's Daily Apple, Heidi Cohen, etc. Having a personality attached to a blog makes it much more relatable, much more interesting, and much more trustworthy. When you read a blog that is run by an actual person who is happy for you to see their face, you can feel as though you almost know that person. That way, you're more likely to trust their opinion and to feel as though they are talking right to you when you read their comments. Likewise, you can enjoy a bit of the voyeurism that comes from getting a glimpse into someone else's life, and you can live vicariously and see what their lifestyle must be like. Reading about fitness on a generic blog is detached, and you have no reassurance that the person writing cares about you, that they practice what they preach, or that what they preach even works. But if you're reading the blog of a guy who lives the life he promotes, who is in fantastic shape, who looks confident and attractive, and who is friendly and outgoing, then suddenly they become a walking advert for the ideas and lifestyle they recommend. Suddenly, you want to listen. Creating a personal brand also opens up a lot more marketing opportunities, and makes a lot more sense when it comes to Instagram, etc. So how do you do it? Step 1. Invest in your most important brand. In life, your name is your most important brand. Now, that is also going to be true in an even more literal business sense. And just like any brand, you need to invest if you want to get the most from it. In other words, you need to practice what you preach, and you need to show that you are someone worth listening to. If a tramp came up to you and started giving you advice, would you listen? No. Likewise, if a regular-looking guy or gal came up and gave you advice, you might likewise not be all that inclined to listen. We listen to people who seem to have it all together, and so you need to try and present that face to the world. This means that you need to start thinking about how you come across. If you don't normally spend any time looking after your health and fitness, then you need to start doing that and hitting the gym. Likewise, you can start thinking about your clothes a little more and giving yourself a little more time to shave, to clip your nails, and to moisturize. Spend a bit more money on your clothes. This might mean you need to own fewer items of clothing, but it is much better to have a few very impressive items than it is to have a lot of junk. Make sure that your clothes fit well. All this might sound small, but if you are creating YouTube videos or posting images to Instagram, then people will unconsciously pick up on that night's watch and the high-quality fabrics you're in. And this will give what you're seeing more weight and more credibility. Instagram is a great place to focus on how you're going to create an image for yourself. Instagram is all about making life more artistic and more exciting than it is. So make sure you are taking photos of the things you're doing that are relevant to your brand. And to make sure that you're playing with angles, lighting, and filters in order to make them more dramatic and desirable. Again, take a look at what the top people in your niche are doing. How are they selling the lifestyle? You can also be a bit candid with it. Don't be afraid to show occasional pictures of yourself out in the town with friends, or traveling, or chilling with a mug of coffee. Don't do this too often if it is off-brand. But do it a little, because that way you can demonstrate that you are a well-rounded person with a lot going on. Once again, this makes you a person that people want to emulate, follow, and listen to. Remember, it's all about the brand. And that means demonstrating that you have the lifestyle that your readers want. You don't need to be dishonest, but just make sure that you practice what you preach and that you can show the benefits of that on camera. Creating social media accounts is very important if you're going to be building a personal brand, and this will allow your visitors and your followers to feel as though they're getting to know you. We'll discuss this more in future videos.